What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In my last video I did about Pika OS, I tried to show off the Pika the Pik the Pikman update manager, but uh I never really got it fully done. And that's because it had an error. But now with all this needing to be updated, I think I can show it off a little bit better. So you have your flat pack updates, your mess MX to extra, so on and so forth, right? Meaning this guy right here is about to get an update, thankfully. And is there anything in here that I won't, don't want? I just want to check kernel real quick. No, so there's no kernel updates. Good. I don't want it to mess with the 6.11 kernel like it did before. All right. Everything looks good. Let's commit the upgrade. And go. So this, I believe, like most things that Cosmos does, it's built with uh, GTK4 and Rust. Uh, so it's a really nice lightweight application that does all the jobs you need it to do. As you can see, it does everything in the background in the terminal there. It's going at pretty good speed. Last time I used apt, it was really slow. I'm a little bit surprised about how much quicker it's gotten. I think it's a little more multi-threaded now. Ooh, it's updated Microsoft Edge to 1.30. Thank you for that. I had a really funny comment, actually. Another one. I like showing you guys these, these, uh, these meme-worthy comments. All right, let's see. It's not that one. It's this one. Here's a little secret for you, okay? Let's zoom this out. This is a, a bazaar video where I say, a bazit video where I say no thanks, but why? And I explain perfectly what I wanted out of an OS. I am well past the point where maintaining my OS is my hobby. I want a stable OS to game on, which is what I built this system for. I don't want to choose a gaming optimized kernel when the distro maintainers can do it. They're using the same kernel I am, they use the Cache OS kernel. Uh, and push a known working image. Well, if you already installed it, do you really want to install another image again and again and again? Because that's what you said you're doing. That's also the reason to download the download is 7 gigs. It's image based. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you imagine keeping 90 days worth of images online? I mean, you literally mark the last known good. And you keep that, like Clear Linux does, and you get rid of the rest. It's not hard. Uh-huh. So if you run into an issue, you can roll back to a working image. Jesus. So you're basically doing more work than I am. Because if you run into an issue, you have to roll back. Yeah. You know what I do? I push a button every two weeks. And I call it a day. Today was that two weeks. Good luck with your uh, adventures there, my friend. This is an amazing application, and I know you guys like GUIs when it comes to updating and installing things. Pico OS has it all. Nabora has it all. Cache OS has it all. It has an application installer I didn't know about that installs updates as well, which we'll probably be covering in a VM here pretty soon because, well, I can't find my Cache OS SSD. I lost it. <laughs> find it sometime soon but i hope you guys enjoyed this video a nifty little application just more to show what's coming with pico os4 a great debian distribution that doesn't have any of the issues that normal debian does and is fantastic and optimized and really good so far thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe if you're new here if you like linux videos and uh you know Hit the like button. Do me a favor. Help me out.